Bloody beautiful. Here we are on the Gold Coast. It is Saturday the 28th of April. As you can see, our room's a big mess. We just woken up. We're gonna go for our walk now. But first, we're gonna go next door. Last night before we went to bed, it was about 11 o'clock and I made Mark eat a big piece of steak and a big bowl of potatoes. Also some oats too, because the immunity was looking really flat, so I wanted to really fill him up. I like to do an aggressive carb up, but to do an aggressive carb up, the person has to be bone dry, which he is. There's literally no body fat. So, we're gonna go check out how he looks, go for a walk, and then uh, come back in the buffet. Woo! Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey, come in. <laughs> up tall, stand up. A bit full already, hey? Yeah. yeah. Show us your legs. Yeah. Far out, they've gotten, sh they've gotten better overnight. Still dry, yeah. <laughs> Smile. Show your, do his front lats, bro. That's his best one. Yeah. Good. It's <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Good. Oh. Check. Now spread your lats. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Right. 
Give us a look at your glutes. Mm. Give us a look at the glutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So shredded. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Testing, testing. Testies, testies, one, two, one, two. <laughs> I just love helping people get ready for shows that give 110%. So Mark has dead set, given 100, everything and more. So that's why I'm just so excited and so happy to help him like, and come to Queen's End with him and give him so much time because he's done every single thing I've asked him to do and done it to the best of his ability. And that's what I love about bodybuilding. Like, he can get there today, his last show of the year, and he can truly enjoy it and hold his head high because he has done every single thing possible. And whether that means he wins or doesn't, like either way, he can be happy. That's it, Mark. <laughs> Rolled out. Yeah. Yeah. And face the front. Woo! Relax. Front, let's spread. And strike. Woo! That's it, Mark. Good work, mate. Good. Yes. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And relax. Your most muscular. <laughs> and strike. Let's give it up for Dan and all the guys as well on stage to win it. So we are back from the Gold Coast now, back into routine, thank goodness. For me, I'm just a creature of habit. I just love routine. Um, so we're back from the Gold Coast. I had an awesome couple of days out there and now I'm going to get put through a workout by Josh Wiggins who I've uh, contacted to do um, some training programs for me because I'm of the opinion that it's not hard for us to consistently choose exercises that we're really good at so if someone else chooses for me what I have to do to get better um, I'm gonna have to do it anyway so that's the reason for that and this beard is lush um, we're gonna train legs this morning so we'll get that on film and uh, continuation of everything that happens on the Gold Coast <laughs> Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it. What you're doing at the moment? accountable with the rest period, so I'm gonna make sure that with most programs we overload the weight or the reps, we never really pay attention to the rest break. Making sure with Mark to stay accountable on that, it's gonna get his heart rate up a lot. Uh, we're also gonna keep blood in the muscle the whole time, so as much blood in the muscle as we can, and really get through the sets. Um, it's gonna be painful. <laughs> Starts now, squeeze here. One, two, go. Three more. Let's go three more. Three more, three more. One, two. Three. Let's go. Two more as high as you get it. One, two. Last one. Last one. Keep it up for three. One, two, three. Well done. It's true. Baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true. Won't you let the light shine through for you?
To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through, for you.
we've just wrapped up a leg session here with Mike today. Um, priority at the moment is building up the hamstrings. That's the main part that we want to focus on going into this Arnold Classic. So we started off, we've got a good uh, 11 working sets of hamstrings in before moving on to quad. We just finished off with a pretty brutal um, calf quadruple drop set, the standing calf raise. So Mike um, feels great right now. He's got his breath back, full of energy, ready to start the day at work. Yep. Um, very excited to be working with Mike and to see what we can bring to the Arnolds in 2019. Yep, the intention of me working with Josh is for my training side of things. I'm really happy to have come to Josh to pay him for his services as opposed to someone coming to me, offering me a service and expecting something back from it. This is a conscious decision I've made for someone that I trust and want to work with to help bring the best out of my body and improve the body parts I need to bring in. We're basically just working off um, the stage photos that we got back from the Arnold in Columbus last month or the month before and um, that's enough for us to analyze what we need to do over the next 10 months yeah. so it's going to be an exciting 10 months 10 months full of hard work but i know mike's keen and i'm excited to work with someone who's excited to learn and just can dominate it's, it's awesome Woo! <laughs> and uh it's a great way to stay in shape